Hello, Karen Connor here with Altered Pages, and we are partnering with Kunz this month. They make German scrap. I have never seen German scrap. I was so excited to get the product, and this is the beautiful uh, pieces I, I received. They are gorgeous. Oh, they're very, very detailed. They're like metal. It may be metal. I just don't even know. I did a little research on them to see what kind of projects people make. Most of the ones I saw were Christmas, but today I'm, I am in relay season, so we're going to be making a relay card. We're using a jelly plate that I got from Altered Pages, um, and I have just, I just received it this week, and I have been having so much fun with it. You get, depending on what colors you use and what order you put things in, um, you get a different look every time. Now, um, this time we're going to try putting the purple on the bottom. I'm using acrylic paint by Americana. This is purple pizzazz. So we're going to use this first. And we're going to spread this out. And the brayer you can get from Alter Pages as well. I am loving this jelly plate. I've never owned one. Never really even watched, you know, what happens or anything. So the I'm using the clock. You got to use it upside down. Okay. Then you want to blot. Just pretty easy. I'm The main thing is you want to leave the image of the clocks. Okay, so there we go. Now we need this to dry for a minute. Um, okay, okay, it's good and dry. We're going to apply some bubble gum pink. And you want the paint to be about the size of a large pea. You don't, you don't want it too heavy, but you want enough. Because um, you'd be surprised how good, once you start brayering it, how well it spreads. Oh, I'm pulling up the purple now. That's not good. This may not turn out. Now I want my word. I have the word hope. I'm going to place that down right here. And then we're going to put our stencil back on. And we are going to blot again. I think I messed up. We'll have to see. That's the thing about this stuff. Okay, I'm going to remove this. Yeah, there's not much left, is it? Um, which you don't want a lot, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. And the paint under the hope is supposed to still be wet. We're just letting it dry for a minute here. And we're going to peel it off. And it's empty. There we go. Now this needs to dry really, really good. Okay? And I think all our purple is gone. All we're going to get is white. But that's okay. Because white's going to be the last one we put on. But that is okay. We'll see. That's, I mean, it's really interesting. Um, the different effects. Because I kept doing it the same way I thought yesterday, playing around with it. But every single one of the prints that I made turned out different. And that's that's a cool thing about it. I mean, I still love it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Now, here's my 5 by 7 sheet. And I stand up. And you want to press this because this is loosening the dry paint underneath the white so that when you peel this off it's all going to come off okay now all right, get ready let's see what we have oh look how cool that looks Woo -wee. now what i'm gonna do with this 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 one turned out great see i thought i had messed up but i didn't so what we're going to do for the sake of time today is we're going to use the one that I already have 
Um, let's see which one that was that I was going to use. This one. Um, this one um, with my German scrap, which I'm using. It, they were white wings. And um, what I did was I spritzed them with a little bit of light purple shimmer. But then I still wanted some glitz, so I put some clear um, glue that had um, shimmer in it. So can you see that? And these are so sturdy, which I'm going to pop that up right there. I'm going to outline my card and then pop it onto a back, and I'll show you the end result. I'll be right back. Well, here is my final card. I used some rub-ons right here and to uh, incorporate anything you add to something you want to go around the edges of it um, with your black liner or something I also went ahead and glittered in used some glitter uh, glue on the word hope so it would pop out more I really like it I took a watercolor pencil and went around the edges um, and I took a watercolor pencil and went around the edges of the hope too and uh, altered pages also sells these um, paint water brushes so then you just smooth it out and it gives it a look of shading makes it pop a little better so I hope that you'll uh, get inspired to try a jelly plate and um, make something for yourself I look forward to seeing you later in the month see ya